Now that we have our LED matrix, we need to set up our wiring. And to do that, we first need to bend all of our pins 90 degrees, which afterwards should look something like this. Now we can get a breadboard and we can place this in, but we have a problem. If we place it in like so, even though the cathodes will be at different pins, our anodes will be all along the same row and so they'll all be connected. So instead what we want to do is we want to put it at an angle. There we have it, our pins all in securely and now each one of our pins is not on a single bar. Next, we want to put in some resistors. And it's always a good idea to check the resistance just to make sure after you've selected it. So this should be a 330 ohm resistor. We have 325, which is actually what I wanted. I wanted 325. Most likely there'll be a variation in these. Here's another 324. This seems perfect. So remember, we want to place that along the cathodes. So we just have to find pins, and then put them to new rows. Okay, after you're done that, just have a quick look and make sure that none of the wires are touching. But we should have three points where now we're connecting our three cathodes to. Right away we can use some male to female jumper cables and connect those to our positions here, our three points. So we're simply connecting along that same bar is where the resistor is connected to. Now in the anodes we essentially do the same thing. We connect to where the pins lead out, and of course we don't have any resistors here. So it'll be right next to our LED matrix. Okay, so we have a lot of wires here, and we need to connect that to our Raspberry Pi. Now to make this a little bit easier, for my Raspberry Pi, I'm going to connect them so that my cathodes are all connected to one side, my odd side. My anodes are connected to my even side. That will just make the programming a little bit easier. And I'll also go from one end to the other as I count them in. So this I can consider as my cathode here. And I'll put that on pin 7. Next I'll use pin 11. And then of course I can go one more and so pin 15. Now, if you don't remember which pins are GPIO pins, well, that's easy enough to look up. Okay, and we can do the same thing with our anodes. I'll start off with this pin, which leads to this anode, and then I'll move my way down. This one, I want to connect to 12. Then my next one, my blue one, I'll connect to pin 16. And then I've picked pin 22 for my last one, for my brown wire. Okay, and there we have it, a wired LED matrix. Next up, programming.